Korea's defense ministry has released its latest defense white paper. The report says that North Korea now has enough plutonium to make up to 10 nuclear warheads, which is concerning given Pyongyang's latest threat to test fire an intercontinental ballistic missile. The report also reflects some changes in Seoul's view of military relations with Beijing. Kim jong soo has the details. Despite ongoing international scrutiny and sanctions, North Korea now possesses 50 kilograms of plutonium. That's the assessment laid out by Korea's defense ministry in its latest defense white paper released Wednesday. We believe North Korea's plutonium stockpile has increased by 10 kilograms to 50 kilograms since it restarted its 5 megawatt nuclear reactor in Yongbyon. It takes 4 to 6 kilograms of plutonium to make one nuclear warhead, which means that the regime could now make up to 10. According to a report by Seoul-based Yonhap News Agency quoting military sources affiliated with the white paper, North Korea has also made significant strides in its highly enriched uranium program. This year's report did not, however, give an estimate of how much uranium the regime has in its possession, explaining that the North has conducted the program in extreme secrecy. Korea has sufficient reason to believe North Korea has made significant improvements in its nuclear and ballistic missile capability. Not only does the regime have 50 kilograms of plutonium, but with its uranium enrichment program, the regime can make its nuclear warheads even smaller. These can be mounted on various ballistic missiles, which poses a huge threat. This year's white paper also outlines new methods of provocation to be expected from the regime including the threat of submarine-launched ballistic missiles, cyber attacks and other acts of terrorism. What is also noteworthy about this year's report is that Korea appears to have changed its stance regarding its military alliance and cooperation with China. The Defense Ministry says it will strive to simply maintain the alliance, whereas in its report from two years ago, it had promised to strengthen the relationship. Experts say that the change in language and strategy can be understood in relation to the ongoing controversy regarding the deployment to the peninsula of the Thad missile defense system. This delicate change in expression reflects how Korea is in a precarious diplomatic situation. Korea has promised to contain North Korea's nuclear threat alongside the U.S., but at the same time, it must be sure not to aggravate its relations with China by deploying Thad. The Defense Ministry has generally emphasized that its defense white paper should be viewed primarily as its own way of objectively assessing and documenting its past achievements and shortcomings in military policy. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.